Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for the month of August 2018. Always watch your sun, moon, and rising signs as well as some tend to resonate more than others sometimes. Uh, just an announcement, August we're having an eclipse on the 11th, which is tomorrow. So to see where or how it affects you personally, look at your astrological chart and see where leo falls in your chart and that will be the area in your life that is affected the most okay at the bottom of the deck we do have the star card that is a beautiful card that is a card of healing it's a card of being your authentic self of being comfortable in your own skin it is about guidance your spirit guides being with you you being protected your answers being pr um your answers being prayers your prayers being answered um, also it's about your wishes coming true so it's a really good energy i believe leo got this as well so if you have a cross there watch leo's video video as well so let's get started we have the king of cups so a water sign will be very important if not you are emotionally stable okay no matter what's going on around you you're going to be emotionally grounded um, you're not going to be carried away with your emotions for the month so you, your emotions are going to be good okay they're not going to be um, causing obstacles for you or anything for the month of august if not a water sign person is here at the top of your reading up front and center and it's going to be very important this water sign person here Ooh, ten of cups some of you are getting married or this is <laughs> this is the one some of you are meeting the one your soulmate here soulmate connection here okay so if you are asking or inquiring about a water sign if this person was your soulmate or if you were looking and you're single um the answer is yes this water sign is your soulmate and this is actually the perfect king to be a husband because he's very caring nurturing very compassionate puts his wife and family first um very selfless person and here for some of you i'm hearing do not get carried away with um the happily ever after there is no such thing as the happily ever after there's always gonna be so don't over idolize the situation but this person will bring a lot of emotional happiness or this person could be your husband as well will be very important in your marriage for the month of august if not this just means that you will be emotionally stable really stable here very emotional month the high priestess so a lot of intuition going on here Okay, the five of wands, there is a difference of opinions. There is some type of conflict going on, whether this is internal. I do not believe so because, well, we'll see. Because maybe you're in conflict with the king of cups, even though he makes you happy. But there's some type of conflict here. If this is the case, if there's a lot of difference of opinions, the high priestess here is telling you, listen to your intuition. You know what's best for you. my right ear just ringed so you know what's best for you okay that was a clear sign from spirit so some of you will be hearing signs from spirit like that if your ear may be ringing my right ear just rang when i said you know what's right for you if there's difference of opinions cut away will no longer needs to um what is hindering you or causing some type of obstacle cut it away with the ace of swords here your clarity of mind is going to be very clear you're going to be victorious you could be making the right decisions you will be making the right decisions for yourself you do not need to let these other people give you their opinions and the four of wands so emotionally and family wise it looks like you're going to be really good some of you could be getting married with this king of cups here your soulmate here From, for some of you, I feel like you're going to be cutting away some conflict that was going on in your home, family, life, or people that will come to your house. I feel like you're going to be cutting someone away. Oh, there's some victory that you're going to be celebrating as well. If you're going to sign documents of some sort, um, be careful you read the fine print. Take it to your lawyer to read it for you if you do not uh, feel comfortable reading it yourself. 
but emotionally it is a very good month you're going to be happy you're going to be very connected to your intuition if there's something that you need to reorganize or kind of um, strategize better or replan go ahead and do so it will lead to victory and success you will be celebrating uh, it's a good time to be gathered in family to be with family spend with family there's celebrations there's parties going on uh, there might be some conflicts in this party like i said difference of opinions i feel like each person has their own voice but with the high priestess here like i said it keeps coming strongly as you have to listen to your own voice do not listen to anybody else and if you've got the high priestess is this this every time i see her if you're asking about whether you should do this or someone is telling me to do this the high priestess tells you you already know the answer so do not pay no mind to these people especially when we get together with family there's always a difference of opinions about whether you should do this you should have done it this way no you should approach it this way the high priestess is telling you you know what's best for you you have the clarity in mind the clarity of mind to make that decision you will come out victorious you have the ace of swords your ideas are clear your communication is very good as well you're able to communicate your ideas and your emotions to the other people who are causing you some type of struggle what you're letting go for the month or what you need to surrender for the month is surrender to non-action okay now is the time to be still and not act simply breathe and focus on your own power let others come to you okay so be like the high priestess here be sitting down in your throne okay i feel like many people will be biting for your attention too it seems like everybody wants your attention here like you're the high priestess here you're the one that has the information you're the one that has the knowledge you're connected to your intuition your mind is in the right you're in the right set of mind and people are coming for you, to you for advice okay because you could see beyond the veil and they cannot So make sure you are you you make sure that you are not wasting your energy on people who will not take your advice seriously. That is what I'm hearing. If that is the case, make sure because the high priestess knows all the answers, but she will only tell you when she feels you are ready for them. So really sit down, take no action, just observe. That is the high priestess. She's sitting down in her throne and she's observing. She doesn't talk very much. She thinks, she analyzes, she observates. So maybe you want to be the high priestess. Feel your way. Feel the energy of the other people. You're very much in tune. I mean, spirit guides are here with you. You're very connected to the universe at this time, Capricorn. And that may shock some of you. Okay? And I feel like people are noticing that and they want your attention. They want to see how you achieved all this success and stability and this happiness, this victory. And they're like, I want you to tell me the secrets. I want you to tell me how you achieved this. But this is going to be a month of taking non-action, okay? Biding your time. What changes are going to happen in the month of August is your emotions. So you have emotions here and emotions here. So just be very connected to your emotions. Um, be aware of them. Your emotions will help you navigate your way through this situation here with the five of wands. Whatever that is. Some type of conflict going on. Uh, with family, I feel. Because this seems like a family gathering here. Also, for the month of August, I feel like your emotions are evolving. They are progressing, especially with the King of Cups there. They're very stable now. I feel like whatever... If, I feel like if there was some type of conflict or difference of opinions before, it would rattle you. It would throw you off your balance. But I feel like now you're taking this high priestess mode and you're just observing. You're like, oh, that's funny or that's your opinion. That It doesn't bother you anymore because you're sitting on your own truth you know you are connected to spirit you see beyond the veil also with the emotions card your emotions are speaking to you and they're speaking to you very loud and clear with the star card here capricorn 
So it's important for you to listen. Do not ignore them as they will grow stronger and stronger and stronger. Also, this card is talking about you being honest with yourself. Be honest. What are you really feeling? How is the situation making you feel? And if you, if you need to get guidance from someone, from a therapist or from someone like that, this will be a good month to do so. Or for some of you, it's just about just connecting with spirit. Um, be careful this month of observing absorbing other people's emotions okay be very careful but i do not feel that will be a problem for many of you but for some of you it it could be with this five of wands it's like you could absorb this energy and put you throw you off a little bit so be careful with that make sure you cleanse yourself with sage or just take a bath so that is your reading for the month of august Capricorn and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye